Hi, I'm Adam. I'm Group Scout Leader at Firthcroft and Park in London, but also part of the Scout Value team. But today I am here to show you how to run a marathon as part of Scout Select How To series. So, number one is commitment. You are going to have to be fully committed to running a marathon. It's going to take up maybe four, five, six um, training sessions a week to get up to you know, marathon standard to be able to run the 26. Um, 0.2 miles. Uh, yeah, you, you do need to be dedicated. You do need to be fully committed because if not, you, you'll be found out on, on race day, and you will certainly be thinking, "I, I do wish I, uh, I did some more of those training runs." Number two, buy a decent pair of running shoes. So you're going to be running hundreds of miles in, in in your training. Um, you know, utilize the specialist shops that are out there. You know, go into them, um, speak with them. They are the experts. Uh, you know, when you do find a decent pair of running shoes, you know, buy two pairs. Uh, you, you, like I say, you're going to be doing hundreds of miles. Um, you do not want to do the training and the marathon in the same pair of running shoes because they're going to be worn out. I can guarantee that after a few miles, they're going to get really dirty anyway and, and get holes in. So I, I do recommend buying you know two, if not three pairs of, of running shoes um, if you can uh, to complete the training and also the race day. Uh, number three is get it right in the kitchen. So you can do all the trend in the world, but if you uh, continue to eat chocolate in the kitchen, um, you're not necessarily going to get too far too quickly. So yeah, make sure you, you do sort out your, your diet. Um, you know, eat healthily, eat plenty of carbs. Uh, yeah, less chocolate, but that's uh, that's always a, a treat at the end of a marathon. Uh, number four, get a training partner. So you're going to run the marathon. You're going to be surrounded by hundreds and you know potentially thousands of people depending on which marathon you do um, but training is a, you know, a whole different beast if you can get a training partner it not only makes it a, a more social event but it's accountability you know there are going to be days that you go oh, I can't really be bothered to you know maybe run 10 miles um, I'll only do five if you're out with a training partner um, and they're expecting to run 10 miles you're going to be uh, in a, a better position to be encouraged to you know, complete those 10 miles uh, you know you're going to go further you're going to go faster and at the end of the day you're only going to benefit from it number five never give up so our, our chief scout uh, bear grills always talks about you know uh, persevering through difficulties and never giving up uh, one of the things, one of the signs I saw, uh, one of my first marathons was a sign, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's, you, you can see it all over the internet now, but it, it basically says, you know, uh, run when you can, walk if you uh, have to, and, and crawl if you must, uh, but never give up. And that kind of encompasses everything about a marathon. You know, you're going from start to finish. Every single step you take is going to be close to that finish, so just you know, keep persevering through it. Number six, so come race day, um, get your name on your front and potentially the back of your running vest. Uh, if you hear someone from the crowd shout, oh, hey, Adam, you're doing really well, you know, keep going, it does give you that little bit of a boost. If you hear someone from the crowd say, oh, hey, runner 24601, keep going, um, chances are you've already forgotten your running number. Hopefully, you're not going to be able to forget your name. So, you know, name on front and back is uh, really important. I say back because runners will give you encouragement as well. If, if you are slowing down, um, you know, and someone's coming up uh, running past you and they see your name, they, they will you know, greet you in name as opposed to just a, a pat on the back and, back and say, all right, mate, keep going. Um, you know, it, it really does make a difference. Number six, break the race up. So, you know, saying I'm going to run a marathon, um, one race, 26.2 miles, it's, uh, you know, that's a, a big seg segment to do. If you break it into four segments of, you know, six miles-ish, um, you know, and run essentially four races, it, it makes it so much easier um, and, and potentially more enjoyable. Uh, number eight, in, in a big marathon like the London Marathon, um, count the number of high fives. So you're, you're going to get people from, you know, all along the route um, offering not only jelly babies along the way, not only verbal support, but you're, you're going to get plenty of high fives and, and pats on the back. You need to be entertained throughout the marathon. It's it's a long you know journey. You you could be out there, uh, you know, for two hours if you're elite. Um, you know, you could be out there for seven hours. It, it really doesn't matter. But you you do need to you know have some form of entertainment. I don't recommend uh, running with music. You want you want to enjoy the atmosphere. Um, so yeah, try, trying to count the high fives and uh, every fifty and maybe give yourself a, a bit of a boost. Um, but no, it it really does help. Number nine is enjoy. You know, when you've run a marathon, the biggest thing to try and uh, to try and do is to actually enjoy the race day. You've spent months 
and hours and you know hundreds of miles um, in, in your training sessions uh, building up to this day uh, training sessions they, they might not have been enjoyable you, you've had to push yourself through them but yeah on the day really do enjoy it there's, there's going to be plenty of experiences that you will remember um, forever as soon as you cross that finishing line it, it's just pure emotion um, and you know everyone loves crossing the finishing line one reason because you don't have to run anymore um, two you get a fantastic goodie bag um, certainly at most marathons I've run um, but three you get your medal uh, and that leads me on to my final one um, medals display them you know you you have achieved something amazing um, you know something that many other people wouldn't dream of doing um, or, or aspire to do but no display your medals I have all mine hung up and uh, yeah run multiple marathons and they do make a nice clinking sound so hopefully you found that interesting and helpful that was my how to run a marathon for scout how to